Hello there, friends. Um, if you don't, this is your first time watching. My name is Katie. I'm Middle Child Vintage, and I am taking you thrifting um, somewhere fun today. I am in Barrie. Uh, I was up north uh, for the long weekend with my family, and Barrie is not too far away, and there's two valley villages here. So I was like, I gotta come hit them up. I don't get a chance to come out this way too often, so I figured we should give it a try and see what goodies we'll find in Barrie. So come on, let's see uh, what we find. experience here before. Uh, so this is the Barry location um, further out from the city, um, kind of on your way up to Muskoka. Um, so I would say there were a lot of really good vintage sweaters, which is what the same what I experienced before. So I'll quickly show you what I found. Oh shoot, I have some glasses. I found these four pink tinted glasses. They're really cool rocks glasses. So if there was a set of four of those, I really like them, thought they're pretty. I've been struggling recently to find nice glassware. Um, I don't know, it's maybe just become more popular, so people are snatching it up. But yeah, so I haven't found as much as I usually do. I found this um, vintage crew neck. It's just a basic cream, but I love the collar on it. Oversized fit, there's a little emblem on the side, but I thought that would be really cute, just kind of neutral, neutral crew neck, tucked into some denim. Um, I found this beautiful Babaton, the group, uh, the group Babaton kind of um, super soft wool sweater. Oh, it's got a stain. Well, let's see if I can get that out of there. Regardless, it needs some work. It needs some depilling. Um, well, I think I can get her, I can fix her up and make her great again. Cause she's still in decent condition. It's so soft. It just needs a good, a few little marks. So I'll put some stain remover on, um, but lovely kind of camel brown topi hue, really nice. Another one that I'm gonna to need to do some fixing up with, give it some love, but I really, really like the sweater. It's this vintage sweater. And it almost has like this argyle print on it. Super oversized. I just thought it was so cool. Yeah, it needs some love. I just not break those glasses. I got this Arnold Palmer vintage patchwork half zip. I thought that fun. I really like when they have the patchwork and different textiles on it. That's pretty. I 
Got another vintage sweater. This gray crew neck and on the cuff and on the collar. It's a great classic um, vintage crew. I did get these fun bowls. And I thought they're so cute. And they have it's a set of one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there we go. With the most precious little purple flowers on them. And there are a whole bunch of them in really good condition. And finally, I got one more sweater. It was definitely a vintage sweater day. I got this sweater I really love too. This vintage wool acrylic sweater, if you can see. Yeah, I love the pattern on that one. I thought that was so cool. Yeah, so that was it. Um, let's head to the next location and see what I find here. So I got a, there's an A&W here. So I got a Beyond Meat burger, which I love. It's pretty fresh. I don't know if you get fresh meat burgers very often, but it's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to eat this, and then we're going to head out to the next one. I've made it to the Valley Village that is actually in Barrie, like really close downtown Barrie. Um, so we are gonna go see what it's like. So wish me luck, let's see, I'll bring you along. I am back from my thrifting adventures um, in that second Valley Village. It uh, was near Aurelia. Um, so I'm gonna quickly show you everything I scored today. Um, first and foremost, I got this lovely gray chunky knit, the kind of patchwork, I really love that. I got, I'm a sucker for this like brown, caramelly brown, I don't even know what you call it, but this kind of like camo. I love that color and I thought this would be a really good spring top. Um, it has cactuses on it, it has ferns, it has some animals, kind of safari-ish, but I thought it'd be really cute if you tucked it up like a crop top. I thought that would be awesome. I also got this really cute um, camel corduroy jacket. It'd be great for the spring. I thought that was really cute. I got these little um these little jewelry such makeup cases and I love that there was three of them and I love this cute little black and that really kind of dusty rose trim. I have the trip coming up soon so I'm excited to be great for hair ties and for like any little trinkets and jewelry. I'm going to keep that for myself. I found this really nice Zara baby doll dress. Um, long sleeves. I'm sad it'd be way too short on me because I'm 5'9 but it's for someone who's maybe like 5'5, five, 5'4 five, five, below. It'd be super cute. It's so intricate. I just, it would be perfect if you're a bride-to-be, have a bridal shower, a bridal party, or if you're just going to like a fun summer party. So I really love that. I found these really cool vintage denim. Um, I'm always trying to look for um, size-inclusive denim for my shop. It's really, really tough to come by, but I thought these were really cool with their fun detailing. 
It says they're 14 petite. I take that with a grain of salt when it comes to vintage sizing. Um, a 14 sometimes uh, 30 years ago is now like a, could be a size eight or size six. You just never know. You just gotta measure and figure out what your, um, your measurements are. So I really like these light wash. I found this vintage dress. Again, this color I'm a sucker for. It's about knee length, but I just love that color. And there are um, shoulder pads, but I will cut those out. So I thought that'd be a great, lovely, loose, flowy summer dress. Um, and then I found a whole bunch of uh, mugs, because I'm going to be dropping a mug collection soon, because I just love mugs. Um, and here are a few of the ones I found. This one uh, says, you're the very best, in that fun pink checkered pattern. really love that. I found this one that says coffee and then more coffee. Always correct. This one's a Buffalo, Buffalo mug. My brother-in-law's a big Buffalo Bills fan, so I'm gonna give that to him. I found this really cute orange tabby mug. As a little saying, I thought that was so fun and retro. And that is it. That's all I got for you today. Um, so all in all, I'm really happy and pleased with both my hauls, both the shops. Um, was it amazing? No, but like pretty decent haul. So if you're in the area and you're driving by, I would definitely recommend you check it out. Maybe don't go on a weekend if it was pretty busy. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. Uh, so say stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Um, if you don't already follow me at Middle Child Vintage on Instagram, I also have a website that's middlechildvintageshop.com where you can find a lot of these goodies soon. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and we will see you next time.